Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome to another edition of TK series. My name goes by TK, as many call. Today, I'm going to continue with another topic under statistical maps. Our previous video, we discussed proportional circle, and today, our main topic is divided proportional circle. There's a difference between these two. So, we will endeavor and treat for your understanding. When they say divided proportional circle, we say divided proportional circle are circles draw to represent data of a given value with further division into sector. The most important thing here is divided into further work sectors. Because what differentiates between the proportional circle and the divided circle is the sector added to the proportional circle. So in our steps to construct, we will see that from our first four steps, it's almost the same as the steps to construct a proportional circle. Don't be confused. Let's go through. So the steps to construct. Note, if the numbers given are big, numbers then you choose a scale then you choose a common number to divide through to obtain smaller numbers why are we saying it sometimes after calculating we enable or we see that the numbers there are too huge for us to use the square root of it so we find a common number to divide but if the numbers given are smaller numbers then there's no necessary for you to find a common number to divide Step two say square root the numbers and record your answers. Step three goes divide the results recorded from the calculation of the square root by the scale given in the question to obtain the radius which will be used to draw your circle. As we can still remember this step from our previous lesson for more proportional circle. That after we square root the numbers, we divided by a square root that was previously given to us in the question to obtain our radius to draw the circle. Let's go to step four. Note, if the scale is not given, then you choose a suitable scale to calculate for your radius. This step is very important. If the scale, sometimes why I can trick you, they won't give you the scale to the question. So you need to choose a suitable scale which will enable you to generate the, what, a radius to draw a suitable circle for your work. Five, you calculate the sectors using pie chart formula. I state using pie chart formula because we are going to still use this formula that we previously know from the pie chart. That is the value divided by the total value times 360. It's times 360 because the circumference of a circle is equivalent to what? This system. Let's take an example. Example Ghana production of selected livestock animals in 100 West, that's from 1992 to 1996. Take note of this, it's very important. It will need you in a question. We are going to make good use of it. Take note of it. So these are the livestock. We have cattle, sheep, goats, and pigs. We have the year from 1992 to 1996, and these are the values given to us in each of the year. So when you pick cattle from 1992 to 1996, these are the value recorded for each value. When you pick sheep, these are the values recorded for each value. And when you pick goat, these are the values recorded for each year. Let's go to our solution. So solution. Before we can find, let's go and check our step so that it will guide us through the calculation. Is that if the value given to you are big numbers, then you choose a common number to divide to obtain a smaller number. We pair our table here or per the premium preamble table here. We notice that before we can find the total value, unless we add all the values of the cattle of each year, 
from 1992 to 1996 for us to obtain the total value of cattle recorded for what? Uh, cattle in Ghana from 1992 to 1996. So let's go for a solution. So solution, we have the year, we have the cattle. So the year, we have 1992, 93, 94, 95, 96. So we record the values of cattle for each of the years corresponding. When we finish, we find the total value of cattle recorded from 1992 to 1991, 6. And the total was 5,901, 8. And 80, sorry. Note that in the question, we are given 100 what? hex net. We are given 100 hex or the hex there, which we use in the function. So let's go for sheep. We have to calculate for the sheep. We have 10,020 as the total value of sheep recorded from 1992 to 1996. Let's go for goats. We have 11,250 as the total values for goats from 1992 to 1996. Let's go for the last one, pigs. As we prepare our calculation, we have 1,910 pigs recorded from 1992 to 1996. So we are going to make good use of it. If you don't add it to the total value and you go for it to calculate, all your calculation will be in vain and it's going to mark down. So you add the three zeros to the total values you obtain what? Here. So after adding, I will mention our total values for cattle as 5,980,000. So we go for sheep. So per our sheep, we are going to say we had what? 10 million and 20,000. So we go for goats. We are going to say we have 11,250,000 250,000. Okay, we have our three zeros there. So we go to pigs. Per pigs, we have 1,910,000. So these are the total values of each of them. That's what I said with the sum total. So that's the total for each of them when this one was taken into a consideration. Now let's go to our first thing. That is, when, when the numbers, the total values here, there are two huge numbers for us to calculate. We can calculate in minutes. So we need to find a common number to divide through to make the numbers what come uh, smaller for us to calculate upon. So we choose a common value of 100,000. So we divided our cattle by 100,000 and our result was 59.8. We divided our sheep by 100,000 and our result was 100.2. We divided the total of goats by 100,000, our common value, and our result was 112.5. Then we divided the total of pigs by 100,000 and our result is 19.1. Then the next step we need to go is by square rooting all the results here. So we go for the second step, that is to square root the result. So we are going to square root 59.8 and the result is 7.7. .7. We square root 100.2 and our result is what? 10. We square root 112.5 and our result is 10.7. We square root 19.1 and our result is 4.4. When we obtain these numbers, we are not done. We are going to the next step. That is the third step. As we go there, let's go and read. The third step states, divide the answers recorded from the calculation of the square roots by the scale given in the question to obtain the radius which will be used to draw a circle. And step four says, if the scale is not given, 
then you choose a suitable skin. So let's go. So per our question, we notice the skill was not given. So we need to find our own skill. So let's go. Per the results given, 7.7, 10, 10.7, and 4.7. What skill would I choose to divide this to obtain a suitable radius for, for the, all of them for me to never need to draw a suitable circle to represent my data? So I go by choosing a scale of one centimeter to two units. So, 7.7 divided by the 2 minutes, we are getting 3.9 centimeters, because it's in centimeters. 10 divided by 2, we are getting 5.0 centimeters. 10.2, which is for gold, we are getting 5.4 centimeters. And when we go for pace, 4.4 divided by 2, we are getting 2.2 centimeters. So these are the values upon which we are going to use as the radius to draw our circle. Let's go straight to our graph and draw our circle. So the first one for cattle, we obtain 3.9. So I open my radius, I open my compass using the rule to 3.9 centimeters. Then I draw my circle. I go for sheep, we obtain 5.0 centimeters. I open up to 5.0 centimeters with my rule and I draw my circle. I go for goods, I open to 5.4 centimeters, then I draw my circle. Then I go for the pick, the leaf, that is 2.2 centimeters, then I draw my circle. After drawing your circle, because it's the question is talking about divided proportional circle. You are not ended. Because divided proportional circle, the main focus is on with further division into sectors. So I need to calculate for the sector of each of the year for each of the livestock year. So let's go for the calculation of sectors. So the first livestock there was cattle. So per cattle, in 1992, we recorded 1,220,000 1, as the total, divided by the total value of what? Cattle recorded. Cattle recorded in what? The year from 1992 to 1996. This is the total, the sum total. Times 360 because of what? The sector. And we are getting 74 degrees. Then we go to 1993. We pick the total of the 1993 cattle recorded divided by the sum total times 360. And we are getting 70 degrees. We go for 1994, we pay the value of the total recorded for what? Cattle in 1994, divided by the sum total times 360, and we are getting 74 degrees. Then we go to 1995, divided by the total values or the sum total times 360, and we are getting 67 degrees. We go for the last one recorded in cattle for 1996 was 1,250,000 1, cattle divided by the sum total times 360, then we are getting 75 degrees. When you finish calculating for the sectors, add all of your answers to check if you are going to get 360. If you don't get 360, then your calculation is wrong. You need to break up it. If you get 360.1, it's still wrong. You need to still do your recalculation until you get 360. All the sum have to be in 360. So you have to make your core mass values here very important. That is when you are converting to a whole number or to one decimal point. Take that one into consideration. So 
pay our calculated circuits here. We are going to draw the circuits here. When we pick a circle for a pattern, we notice that for the circle, for 1992, we had 74 sectors or 74 degrees. So this is a radius line. So we place our protractor here and we measure what? 74. We make a dot on the line, then we join. And we indicate 74 degrees as 1992. Then we give it what? A shade. We do say for 1993, that is 70 degrees. We use the protractor. So this one will start from the zero. And here we will start to go for the 70. As we learn from what? Our part chart of ideologies. So we follow the same procedure to draw for all of the sectors here. When we get to the last one, by the time you better from here, it will be the zero. Here we we'll give you the 75, and that will be 1996 because it is 360, and after adding all, we had 360. So we are going to get this. And we shape each year with a different key. When you finish, take note to bring your key for the examiner to know which year and the key it corresponds to. When you finish, don't remember. Remember to bring your skill that you chose to divide, to obtain your circles, and put down your dates. I will leave the, the sector, the question for sector for sheep, goats, and pigs for my dear students to practice while they enjoy and learn along the line. Thank you. My name is ATK. Thank you for watching and learning from our free YouTube videos. Remember to subscribe. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.